guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the Peak District and I nearly didn't come today. It was really foggy when I set off, but I've seen like I found the sunshine. It's just breaking through those clouds behind me. So I've come to the Peak District on my day off to stretch my legs because it's been a long time since I've been out and about and I thought I'd take the chance because it's not going to rain today. Nearly didn't come because of the fog, but I'm here. I just arrived and to be honest, I forgot it was half term as well. So it's going to be a little bit busier than I'd hoped. And I'm really having to force myself out the car actually, because I do feel a little bit self-conscious today. Um, keep feeling that everyone's kind of staring at me and uh, I don't know. I don't feel that comfortable today uh, on my solo hike, but I'm going to force myself to go and have a little walk. I haven't really bought any provisions with me, just my camera and my little bag with a hat in case I get cold and a drink um, but I've got no food so I've had breakfast uh, it, even though it's close to lunchtime I was a little bit late starting off today so I'm hoping to have a walk and then I'll go and get some food somewhere before I head back. First walk of the day, we're going up Mamtor, and uh, the day is definitely drier than yesterday, but it's not a sunny, bright August summer day that you'd want, although we don't want it too hot. I've got quite a heavy backpack today because I've got all my waterproofs, food, and everything else, even though I've had a fry up, I'm a greedy bastard, so you never know, I might get hungry, and I don't know how far this walk is. I've done no research. Um, so I'm just going to follow the path, see where it takes me, see what the view's like at the top. Ooh, I'm tired already. So I'm fit. Uh, see how far I get. I think the worst bit's over if I remember correctly. I've only been here two times before um, and it's always busy. <laughs> Not what I like. So I've dropped down off the main path that goes along the ridge to get away from the people really and also to be able to see the view just behind me over the ledge and it takes me back to just after lockdown um, when I very first started my solo adventures, my car camping and the very first trip was in the August and I remember having my Covid jab the day before and having really bad side effects the next day. I had a really bad fever and I was so so cold sleeping in my Fabia, Skoda Fabia Estate Pedro 
and I parked just out there where the broken road is, just up from Blue John Mine. And I took a quick walk up to the Mantor Summit and I was quite disappointed to realise that it was such a short walk. But it was my first trick point. And even though it was August, I think the weather was more miserable than this. It was drizzly and cloudy and awful. Um, but I spent two nights in the Peak District and I had a lot of fun. I was a little bit terrified. It's my first night in the car and I'm speaking quietly because I've got the windows open slightly and there's a van just on the other side. There's also a van on this side as well. But as you can see, my fairy lights are up. I've kind of got stuff everywhere because it started raining again and it got really cold and I've realised I need to think about where I put things in the car so they're more accessible. So I've kind of got like my kettle here, my car keys. Oh, and I'm going to try the shiri out in a moment. I've got to do it really quietly. I mean, I can't be outside because I've got a van and a van either side of me. And it's not dark. So I've got my coat. And it's freezing. Um, I don't think I'm going to be warm enough tonight either. I might have to sleep fully clothed. Um, it's surprising how cold the car is. So maybe I should have bought that duvet. I actually forgot I was going to bring it just in case. And I forgot. So I might freeze to death tonight. Anyway. minutes to find the space in the car and also the man next door decided to get out of his van open and close the slide door mooch about outside and i realized you can hear everything so i thought i could have to play some music to disguise this sound. <laughs> anyway it happened and it was okay although i just keep thinking i really didn't think where to put things like, you know, I've I, I, where's, like, where's my glasses? I need to take my contact lenses out. I didn't bring a mirror with me. And where's this? Oh, it's in the front footwell. That means I've got to climb through the seats, which I haven't done. Most things I've just got, oh, well, sod it. I'll have to sort it out tomorrow. Oh, God. Ooh. Anyway, another fail is the fact that I'm going to freeze to death tonight. I am in bed, ready. But for some reason, the, <laughs> the airbed seems to have shrunk. My feet are right at the end. So I think I need to shuffle that way a little bit. But um, apart from that, the freezing to death and probably being really damp and cold in the morning. <laughs> it's all going really well. <laughs> morning campers. So just a quick update. I absolutely froze all night. Didn't sleep a wink because I was so cold. Um, woke up in the night and my blanket had completely come off my bed. But even so, I needed about two more duvets. It was freezing. Also, I had to have a sneaky shiwi in the middle of the night twice. And I was only using um, a Fanta bottle to put it in. Well, this morning, I was desperate for the loo. And I thought, oh, crap. I'm going to have to empty it before I can use it again. So I um, I unlocked the car and then I sneakily opened my side door and then the alarm went off. So clearly that didn't work. Um, and then I had to sneakily empty the bottle and then quickly shut the door again. But all in all, I've had um, a fry up this morning and washed up and packed the car and I'm ready to go. I'm parking up down there on my own with... Um, men in vans camped next to me and I had to be really really brave <laughs> and then I popped in, down into Castleton to use the facilities, the toilets down there at the pay and display car park before I moved on I went down towards Thor's Cave and Dovedale and I had a really awesome three days and that's where all this began really. Um, just 
just down below here, you can see the rest of the broken road. And my camp was just up there and it has become super um, Since lockdown, obviously more and more people have gone there and it's a big van life community that go there now. So I've obviously, I've not been back. Um, but yeah, it does take me back to where it all began because I started out on TikTok um, and just did it for fun, trying to keep up with my parents and my sister that don't live near me, so it was more of a, to document my, my little trips away, to keep in touch with them and for a little bit of fun, keep myself company and give myself something to do while I was away, give me a reason to come out in the first place. And, uh, and now it's grown to a YouTube channel as well, so. And I don't even feel like walking very far today, but it's just nice to be out and about, but away from the people. You can see the people, they look like little ants running along the, uh, the ridge there, all the way along. And uh, I have no desire to join them. But it is nice just to be out in the countryside again and get that fresh air and look at the beautiful views and find a little bit of sunshine actually as well. So this is Mother Hill. Not that you can see really much of it but it, it's up there. At the moment I'm just filming on my mobile phone because I'm trying to be less obvious what I'm doing because I really do feel quite self-conscious when I'm around people and I don't like filming. Um, yeah so I'm just filming on my mobile at the moment with no microphone so apologies if the sound's not brilliant. Um, I have got my camera with me but it's just in my bag at the moment. Ah, it's good to be back. So I'm also testing out this lovely heated vest today and um, to be honest when I came up the hill I thought no no I'm way too warm I don't need this today but actually now I'm on this side which is a bit more in the shade and catching the breeze I'm so thankful for wearing this. You can probably see here that it's got two settings so it heats around the back of your neck and your back and then the other one heats down the sides here. Got a power bank just in the pocket and you know what it really works really well. I thought I was going to be too hot wearing it today coming up this hill. I think it's more the fact that I was going to have heart attack but um, now I'm on the other side and the wind's got up and it is quite a nice wind and I'm so thankful for wearing this today so uh, yeah I'd highly recommend it the link and details will all be in the description of this video so if you want to take a closer look they do men's and women ones and the power bank lasts for ages but yes this is something that I'm going to keep with me on my driving lessons in those early mornings it keeps your back lovely and warm so uh, I would definitely recommend this so I'm heading back on the lower path, the top path to Mount Tor, just to the right of me here. And uh, I'm already out of breath. So yeah, just down there where that white van is, that's um, actually where the bus comes and they should park there. So you're not really meant to park any cars there, but it's just around the corner from that. That's where my very first car camp was. You can see where the roads collapsed. And just in the distance there is Blue John Mine. And it looks like my path has become a dead end. They're sliding down on their bottoms. They've slid all the way down from the top there. Uh, the ground's quite wet today, there we go. Ooh. Um, it's a fun way to travel, but I hope they're not just doing it on their trousers because they're going to look a right state when they get to the bottom. <laughs> I have uh, no way out so I'm going to have to go back up to the main path which is really steep. <laughs> Damn. I thought I could avoid people by going around the side of the hill <laughs> but no. Uh, anyway the good news is um, even though I'm really really busy at work and I don't get a lot of free time at the moment um, I'm just trying to work, work, work and collect up the money and pay off the debts that, you know, starting a new career always has de debts attached to it. So I um, spent quite a bit of money in this last year changing jobs and stuff and getting, getting kitted out, get the business up and running. So yeah, it's work, work, work at the moment. But the good news is I am going to start going on adventures again. And the Scout and my YouTube car, Scout, that you kindly named him, uh, he will be doing some car camping again with me. Um, it's not quite time to do hot tent camping yet, it's not really cold enough 
um, but car camping is definitely the way forward. Okay, I made it up onto the second tier. It looks like I can make my way around that tour. <laughs> Well, I'm back in the car and I'm quite glad to be here actually. It was so busy up there and I managed to find a little bit of peace and quiet, just drop down on the terrace uh, below the summit of Mamtor and finally I found a bit of solitude that I, that I come here for, but stupid me didn't think about it being half term, but never mind. At least I'm out, I'm out in the fresh air and it's just a change of scenery for once. Um, this next week I've got a quite a busy week. Um, I've got two practical tests for my pupils coming up, one tomorrow, one on Tuesday, and I get just as nervous as them, I think. Um, there's a lot of um, a lot of work goes into getting pupils ready for test, and if they don't pass, I get the consequences. Um, so I do apologise for my channel being a little bit dormant um, this year. It's not really got going at all, which was not my plan. But trying to balance um, getting the business up and running and being busy with that and finding time to go away, um, being self-employed, not having obviously the holiday funds that you have, you know, the paid holiday that you have with a salaried job, um, it became quite obvious this year was going to be a bit of a no-go for getting too many trips in uh, or going too far from home. So that's just how it's been. The good news is things are changing, things are getting better. I am working hard to pay off any debts that I've accrued while I've been getting the business off the ground. Um, but the good news is I am going to be starting to go back to doing what I love best, which is coming out to places like this and staying over. Hopefully I'm going to be car camping again in Scout. Um, he's going to do a couple of tests this next week, um, driving tests with my pupils. Um, and then I'm going to be retiring him from work. Um, yeah, so plans have changed a little bit, but it means that Scout will become an adventure car again. And I've also got my hot tent camping, which will come up once it gets a little bit cooler. It's not cold enough really for that yet. Um, so yeah, I do hope to crack on with adventures, um, after the next couple of weeks. So I have got plans to take an extra day off here and there as well. So I actually get time to go away because at the moment, two days off a week is just not enough to catch up with everything. And uh, and then find time, I have to keep the car clean these days as well for the practical tests. So that's a bit of a bore. But um, yeah, so I've come out today with the intention of doing a YouTube video and going on a, a really good adventure today. But to be honest, I really couldn't decide where to go. And I never thought that it was half term. And everywhere in the Peak District, is it's always busy at half term. It doesn't matter where you go. Everywhere now since COVID has become so well known that there's people everywhere. So unfortunately, finding a nice quiet walk to go on a nice peaceful adventure was not going to happen today. If you didn't already know, I've also got a TikTok account and... It's full of loads of shorter videos about different adventures before I started really using this YouTube account. So there's a lot of different hikes and ideas on there for you to try and lots of hints and tips about car camping as well. Um, I will be getting the hot tent camping back as well once it gets cold enough, but it's more just damp and muddy at the moment, which, you know, it's not really great because then the tent gets all filthed up. So I think car camping is definitely the, the preferred method of camping for me. Um, I've just got to decide where to go. I'm going to head off now and see if I find somewhere else to pull in and have a little look around. If I do, then obviously I'm going to take you with me. If not, then I'm going to bid you farewell now. Thank you ever so much for watching again. Thank you for all your support, continued support, and welcome to all the new subscribers. Things are going to pick up, I promise. If you do enjoy my videos, then please do support my channel. 
by clicking the notification bell so you never miss another adventure with me, subscribing to the channel, liking and sharing the videos and maybe even dropping a comment. All of it helps push my videos out to other people that might enjoy the channel too. So for now, it's goodbye from me and I'll see you on the next adventure. Goodbye!